So in today's video, I'm going to explain the solution of this question, which was recently asked in court is around division one plus division two. So first, let us understand the problem statement. So the name of the problem is colorful tables. So what problem is said that we will be given two numbers n and k and in t and an integer array of size n. And what we have given that all the numbers in our array should be will be smaller than or equal to k only. Now what problem is said? I will show from this code. So what problem is said that if I write down my array A like this horizontally and I like my array B like this vertically, then I can make a grid such that my ith position will be minimum of my my this index and this index, which means my my number at i comma jth position will be equal to minimum of a of i comma a of j. For example, in this case, you can see um, here you can see at this position. So this position will be minimum of my this index and this index. So I hope you have understood how we are making this matrix. So first problem is that we will make a matrix like this. So this is a, this is the first part of the question. Now what problem? Now what problem is trying to say is that you can see that for every color one to k, which means my number are only lies from one to k only in my array. So for each color one to k, we have to find the smallest rectangle in array B containing all the cells of this color. Output the sum of width and height of the rectangle. I think so. The problem statement is pretty much confusing. So I I will make understand this part. So what problem is said? For the for the k, for example, my k is from you can see my k is from here. In this case, my k is from one to four. So for every k means one, two, three, four. I have to tell what is the rectangle. What is the or I will write the modifier in my sense only. So what is the largest rectangle in which one is containing? So what does this mean? Which means you can see my one my my uh, one is here and my at most one is here so if i make a rectangle in which you are closing all the ones which means if i make a rectangle like this in which my all the ones are there which means for the i for the for this one i have to tell what is the smallest rectangle possible in which all the ones are there so you can see my my all the ones are here if this is at what this place this place this place this place so i can make a rectangle like this so here you can see by making a rectangle like this i have um, i have covered my all the ones you can see my all the ones are there in this rectangle so what problem is said next now so the the sum of its height and width will be my answer will be my answer for this so the sum of its height and width is 1 2 3 4 5 and 1 2 3 4 5 so it will be 10 so now next you can so for now next is my 2 so for 2 you can see what is the smallest rectangle possible in which my all the 2 are there so you can see my again answer would be tiny only because you can see so this is the smallest rectangle i can make in which i i will i would contain my all the ones so this is the answer for this so now 10 also so now for 3 for 3 you can see for 3 you can see my 1 3 is there and my another three is here and one is here also so what is the smallest is the smallest rectangle possible so the smallest rectangle possible here is this only in which my all the threes are there so you can see in this answer my answer would not be 10 but my answer would be 6 because 3 plus 3 it could be 6 so here you can see i have to make a smallest rectangle in which my all the threes are there you can see it is 6 so now 4 So now 4, you can see here is only one 4, which means I can make a rectangle like this in which my all the 4s are there. So what is the sum of its height and width? Sum of its height and width is 2. So this is my resulting array, which will be my answer. So now next question, how could I construct this array from this matrix? Oh, you can see, I cannot construct a matrix even because you can see the costs are very high. So my n lies from 1 to so my n is very high which is 10 to the power 5 which means if i if i am trying to make a matrix my complexity would go to 10 to the power 10 which is which is not going to work so i cannot make a matrix at all so what is the most optimal solution in which by using this array only i could find all the numbers from 1 to k answers from all 1 to k 
so this is the problem of intuition so this is a problem this so this is the real problem here so if i tell you if i if i for the corresponding i if i find the first number the first number which is greater than i and the last number which is greater than i or i in i uh, for i am referring of all the values from all the values from 1 to k in which my i is this so for example my initially my first i would be so my first i would be 1 so for for calculating the answer for 1 i will i i will find the the first index which is greater than or equal to 1 so in this case you can see my first index which is greater than or equal to 1 is 3 so i will put my pointer here and i will find the last value which is greater than or equal to 1 so which is again 2 so here are my pointer so after calculating these points i will find their difference which is indeed 5 and multiply it by 2 which is 2 which is 10 so you will get your answer but how why this will work you will now answer so let me show you why this will work because for i you can see for because for i you can see there is only one one because you can see there is only a single one in my array so you can see my one my uh, my at most position of one is here and here also and here also so these are the four coordinates which are making my triangle which are which are making my rectangle extreme at extreme positions so how I, how i am coming with these positions so you can see if i am having a if i am having a larger value then my cur then my i in its left for example in this case i have a 4 then for this then by from this then by then by this one i will get here also one because if i am a, if, because you you first see this array if i am having a greater value greater value in its left which is 4 so mark it as this so so please mark it for here temporary purpose so if i <coughs> So if I want to find the i, th see if I, if I want to find the one here, so you can see if I calculate, if I start calculating from this one, so minimum is one. Skip this part. So for this, my here it also come one, which means if I am having a larger value, the, if I if I am if I am having a larger value in its left, then at that at, then at that position, there will there will also come one only, because you have seen it because corresponding to the vertical array which is this one i will get always that value only because you can see there is my here is my one so i will get one only because this value is greater than one this, this value is greater than one the minimum of these two will be one only so if i go one more next one more step forward further so you can see i have a two which is also greater than one so by using this one i will also get here smaller value which is one so if i go one one more step here it is 3 so you can see 4 3 you will see 1 and 3 minimum 1 and 3 is 1 so which means i am getting one more one more step extreme point one more step left to one more step to left so you can see i am getting one here also so similarly to the, similarly to the right you can see to the right my 2 is greater than 1 so by cross by taking the in corresponding this one only i will get here you can see i will get minimum of 1 and 2 which is 1 which means you can see my 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 horizontal extremes are clearly defined because you can see my extremes for 1 which means the larger value than 1 are 3 and here it is 2 which means the ra which means the, this would be width this would be width of my largest rectangle possible but there is another more possible case for example in this case let this number be so in this case let this number be 0 so now you would say that so if it would be 0 then all the values here would be also you can see minimum of this is 0 0 0 0 here it also 0 and this will also be 0 and here it also be 0 0 0 and 0 so this is a side modification I have done so but now in this case so but, but now in this case what would be my answer so my answer would be remains the same but why so because here you can see mm, here from zero so then we move this one one zero one 
yes you can see here like for one for one and three if i make a comparison okay i have made a wrong mistake here so here it will be zero zero but this four is replaced by zero so here it is zero 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 so which means you will say if my rightmost is zero then then this is this is my maximum width but no i have to find from left because you can see my three is here which is greater than one which means if i if i am I am calculating from the right part, which is greater than my eighth position. Then I will also, then I will always get that position only because corresponding this one and this three, the minimum of the minimum is this part only. Here you can see the minimum is this part only, which means the left ex left extreme is this position only, and for the right extreme this position only, which is two. So I will get two and one, which this this two and this two. I am getting responses. This one only. So, which means I am. This is um. This will be my extreme positions. So, ho hope you have understood the explanation. So, if I show you the another example by taking three. So, if I show the example by taking it by three. Three. You can see what is my what is my rightmost part which is greater than or equal to three. You can have two. Two is smaller than I will not take. One is smaller. I will not take. But four, four is greater than or equal to three. So I will take it. And what is the left most extreme? What is the left left most extreme? It is again this part, which is at here only. So what is the what is the the distance between them? It is again three. So three into three two. So you will see. I am have I am having a four here, which is greater than or equal to four, which means corresponding to this row only at certain position. I will get three, whether or not I will get three always. So you can see I am getting three always. For similarly, in this case, you can see here four is greater than or equal to three, which means in this corresponding row, I will always get a three. So here it is three. But I will make sure if my value is smaller than three, then I will never get three in that row because the minimum of minimum of that that part and that part will always be smaller than my three, which is one. So here you can see. None of my values is greater than or equal to three, which I will because I have a value smaller than three here. So I will calculate the I will calculate the leftmost and rightmost part which is greater than or equal to my highest position. Then I will find the difference between them and sum it to the two. And answer will be my answer. So you can see my my leftmost is my rightmost is four and my leftmost is zero only. So distance between them is three. So three into two. Is my answer, which is you can see here six. So this is the problem. Pretty much. So if I show you the code, so if I show you the code, you can see. First of all, and there is another edge case. If my if my k is if my k is never come in my array. For example, let, let this range would be one to five. So here you can see five is never coming coming in this array. So for that case, my answer would be zero. So here you can see first I am I am taking the input array. And then and putting all the elements in my set, and taking the two pointers as zero and zero and n minus one. So starting from one to k, I will calculate if my ith position is if my ith k if my if my k is present or not. If my k is not there in my array, then I will simply print zero. Else, I will increase my left. I will increase my I will increase my left pointer till my current value is smaller than my. Ith position. For example, you can see for this, for for this three, for you can take wait a minute. For this three, for example, for this three, I will increase my right pointer till my value is smaller than equal to three. So I will I will neglect this part and come and stop at this pointer. So here you can see I'm. I am decreasing my left, decreasing my right pointer until my value is smaller than i. Similarly, I will decrease my right pointer also until my value is smaller than i. So after decreasing both the values, I will simply print two into absolute value of s minus my start pointer minus end pointer plus one. Because you can see if my pointer is like this, then difference between them will be two. But no, my answer would be three because you can see this is my largest rectangle possible. So this so area so area of this would be. The difference between them plus one into two. So here you can see the output is indeed coming correct. 
so this is the whole problem intuition of this so i hope you have understood it so if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe my channel till then stay tuned for the next one thank you